Hello everybody, welcome back to another Adobe Illustrator tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to move objects, transform objects, and move things from one layer to another layer. So basically, well let me just show you how it, what I mean here. So let's just dig right into this. If you want to follow along with me, just create a new, uh, create a new uh, document. Sizing does not matter. Um, I've got it set to window uh, to the essentials, just the regular essentials here, guys. So let's just dig right in. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to go over here to the rectangle tool, and I'm going to create a rectangle. And you'll notice here that I've got a stroke of 15, blah, blah, blah. That's inconsequential. Now, I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to get the ellipse tool, and I'm just going to draw me a weird-looking circle, whatever. Okay. Now, when we go to the layer, you're going to see here that I have drawn all of this stuff, it's on one layer because there's only one layer here. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to create a new layer. And this little button down here is the create new layer button. And now I've got a second layer and I'm going to rename that to circle. There we go. Now what I want to do and what I want to show you is how to move this circle from layer one here, which it's on, to the new layer that has nothing on it. And it's actually quite simple. I've You'll see here that I have selected the shape. I'm going to go over here to this little blue button here, and I am going to left click, and I'm going to hold it, and I'm going to move it up. And presto, as you'll see here in the top right, the circle is now on its own layer. So if I turn the top layer off, obviously just the, the little rectangle is going to show up. If I turn the bottom layer off, obviously the circle is going to show up, guys. I know that's a very simple trick. Um, but when you're sometimes working and you have like hundreds and hundreds of little um, shapes and things like that, and you don't want it all on one layer because you want to, you know, apply different effects to it, or maybe you want to animate it, this is how you get stuff off from one layer to the next. Easy peasy, guys. I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial. I've got a ton of more stuff coming up. Thanks for watching. Cheers.